Bid me, and I shall gather my fruits to bring them in full baskets into your courtyard, though some are lost and some not ripe. For the season grows heavy with its fullness, and there is a plaintive shepherd's pipe in the shade. Bid me, and I shall set sail on the river. The March wind is fretful, fretting the languid waves into murmurs. The garden has yielded its all, and in the weary hour of evening, the call comes from your house on the shore in the sunset. My life, when young, was like a flower, a flower that loosens a petal or two from her abundance and never feels the loss when the spring breeze comes to beg at her door. Now, at the end of youth, my life is like a fruit, having nothing to spare and waiting to offer herself completely with her full burden of sweetness. Is summer's festival only for fresh blossoms and not also for withered leaves and faded flowers? Is the song of the sea in tune only with the rising waves? Does it not also sing with the waves that fall? Jewels are woven into the carpet where stands my king, but there are patient clods waiting to be touched by his feet. Few are the wise and the great who sit by my master, but he has taken the foolish in his arms and made me his servant forever. I woke and found his letter with the morning. I do not know what it says, for I cannot read. I shall leave the wise man alone with his books. I shall not trouble him, for who knows if he can read what the letter says. Let me hold it to my forehead and press it to my heart. When the night grows still and stars come out one by one, I will spread it on my lap and stay silent. The rustling leaves will read it aloud to me, the rushing stream will chant it, and the seven wise stars will sing it to me from the sky. I cannot find what I seek, I cannot understand what I would learn, but this unread letter has lightened my burdens and turned my thoughts into songs. A handful of dust could hide your signal when I did not know its meaning. Now that I am wiser, I read it in all that hid it before. It is painted in petals of flowers, waves flash it from their foam, hills hold it high on their summits. I had my face turned from you, therefore I read the letters Auri and knew not their meaning.
Where roads are made, I lose my way. In the wide water, in the blue sky, there is no line of a track. The pathway is hidden by the bird's wings, by the star fires, by the flowers of the wayfaring seasons. And I ask my heart if its blood carries the wisdom of the unseen way. Alas, I cannot stay in the house, and home has become no home to me, for the eternal stranger calls. He is going along the road. The sound of his footfall knocks at my breast. It pains me. The wind is up, the sea is moaning. I leave all my cares and doubts to follow the homeless tide. For the stranger calls me, he is going along the road. Be ready to launch forth my heart, and let those linger who must. For your name has been called in the morning sky. Wait for none. The desire of the bud is for the night and dew, but the blown flower cries for the freedom of light. Burst your sheath, my heart, and come forth. When I lingered among my hoarded treasure, I felt like a worm that feeds in the dark upon the fruit where it was born. I leave this prison of decay. I care not to haunt the moldy stillness, for I go in search of everlasting youth. I throw away all that is not one with my life, nor as light as my laughter. I run through time and, O oh, my heart, in your chariot dances the poet who sings while he wanders. You took my hand and drew me to your side, made me sit on the high seat before all men, till I became timid, unable to stir and walk my own way, doubting and debating at every step, lest I should tread upon any thorn of their disfavor. I am freed at last. The blow has come, the drum of insult sounded, my seat is laid low in the dust. My paths are open before me. 
My wings are full of the desire of the sky. I go to join the shooting stars of midnight to plunge into the profound shadow. I am like the storm-driven cloud of summer that, having cast off its crown of gold, hangs as a sword, the thunderbolt upon a chain of lightning. In desperate joy, I run upon the dusty path of the despised. I draw near to your final welcome. The child finds its mother when it leaves her womb. When I am parted from you, thrown out from your household, I am free to see your face. 